just finished fly flight 11. Um, we are on the way to our fancy platinum suite, which I'm very excited about. It's a uh, birthday present, late birthday present from George. So, um, yeah, we're feeling a little bit tired and we need some coffee. <laughs> Definitely need some coffee. <laughs> George is feeling a bit We've only knackered. started the first part of our trip home and we're knackered already. It's quite and boring. So just got to the Platinum Suites place where we're staying and it, we've got instructions to come into mail room D. D33AB. Now what have you got to do? There's a number he gives you. He gave you. <laughs> Ding. What's inside? <laughs> what do we have to do now? the lifts, scan your access card, and press level 33A. After that, look for seat D33A6. <laughs> We're on 433A. How exciting! The one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Hello.
is up, guys? It's my YouTuber impression. Um, after our ordeal yesterday, I would say, kind of an ordeal because it was about six hours, airport, flapping around, flight cancellation, back to town. We checked into a bit of a crappy hotel, but it's kind of what we could find uh, at short notice and had a little look around the market and now we've got one more day in Kuala Lumpur which is actually good because we really like it here and we're gonna go to some parks I think and it's also Valentine's Day so I'm treating Charlie to some waffles for breakfast <laughs> traditional she's got the most amazing cab driver John Tong John Tong yeah John John and he's from Best Kuala Lumpur. Best hitchhiker in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. He hitchhiked for two years to get from Kuala Lumpur to London when he was a teenager. And then he spent four years in Oxford. This was back 49 years ago. 1960 something. 1960s. I took a boat, I took a cargo ship. Stayed on Metros. Wow, I cargo ship. I first stopped in Metros. Wow. And then I walked, 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 and then I reached London. It took 30 months. Wow. How, what, what was the size of your bag? Like just a small bag. Right? Small bag. <laughs> I was saying on it, just a small bag. I was saying. He knows I how to when do you it. Got, when you got to London, you were a little bit cold, hey? Oh, terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Not like this. You cannot go like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my hair cracks. My lips crack. Yeah. It was so cold that time. Yeah. It was about to snow that time, almost snow. Yeah. 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 Imagine so, hitchhiking that distance in your teeth. No, no more hitchhikers. No, you Every don't get it. Minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's not that peaceful nowadays. Yeah. Where are we going, Georgie? Here we go. Bird Sanctuary. After you. Here we go. Kuala Lumpur Bird Park. Paradise for bird and nature lovers. They've got the closest relative to the dodo here and I've also got the little bird from the Lion King and toucans. This one looks like something from Spirited Away. They look a little bit evil with the red eyes. <laughs> the three of them together look like they're Yeah, menacing. It's like a bit like the three pigeons on the Animaniacs, which you probably won't remember. Maybe someone might remember that watches this. They're coming to get us. They look well sinister with their long legs. Beef. This, guy, this gang is going to gang up on this gang. Look. Who's going to win? They're all slowly coming over here. A bit of freaked out right now. Creeps me out. Flamingos look like ballet dancers or something. Way less creepy. Same size legs. Why is that? Got some angry birds. This one's definitely an angry bird. Okay. I think these have to be the creepiest of them all for me. So we didn't do the wow sharks at um, Oslo and various other things like that on this trip, but this is a great day out coming around here, but I'm, you also kind of get a little bit of a feeling of like, caged birds, the whole caged birds thing not being particularly great for them. I'm not too sure, perhaps you should have read up a little bit more on this place, but I mean it seems like they're taken care of and I know that a lot of them are endangered so I guess that's how they justify it, but yeah, it's not nice seeing big ones in the small cages. The ostriches were in a red, pretty small cage. They looked a little bit agitated. But yeah. If you were a bird, what would you be? 
English chaffinch. <laughs> Charlie just said she'd come across some English chaffinch. <laughs> it's a little bit hot it's in between hot my legs. Walking around here. <laughs> Which is just quite a bit of English, a bit of an English chaffinch between the legs. Just chilling. Getting a bit of sun on his feathers. <laughs> Here we have the lesser spotted bin hiding quail. <laughs> Finding a course at the deep. Giant silver emperor of pelican. <laughs> Where's that, Charlie? You can hear. The bird of prey. <laughs> bird of prey. <laughs> Jokes, ain't you? Yeah. I'm she on made the board that today. up. She's on. I think Charlie's a bit pissed that I brought her to hang around with a load of birds on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Have some fish instead. <laughs> Right, so as you can probably tell, we're no longer in the Philippines. After all that, those hours of editing, all that lovely um, content, uh, all the different various SD cards, I managed to actually delete a little bit of content which was of the last uh, few shots of coming home from the Philippines via Mumbai. And rather than spend the next few weeks trying to find it, um, I've decided just to wrap things up there. And there wasn't much else to show you guys anyway. Also, this gives me an opportunity to say thank you very much for watching all the uh, videos that we've been putting out. Hope you've enjoyed them. It'd be great if you could just comment below and let us know what, what bits you found most interesting because if we're going to do any more, then that will help us um, kind of plan it around what people actually like to watch. And so whether it's the night diving in the Philippines or the crazy cities in India and me getting the hump, whatever it might be, there will be some more coming. It's been a really interesting process doing the videos. Um, it kind of opens up a different uh, avenue to, to travel as well, trying to capture it on film. We've been back a little while now. We've just got back from Barcelona and that will be the next video. So I can't wait to get stuck into all that um, footage that we shot when we were out there. In the meantime, um, thank you for watching. If you've liked the content, then please um, subscribe to the channel. There will be a few more things coming. And also follow us on Instagram. Um, and I think I'll leave it there for now. So yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.